Hello everyone, welcome back to the, not welcome back, I mean, welcome to the channel. I just uh, finished watching the new Michael Bay movie called uh, Ambulance, or LA. I think it's Ambulance, but yeah. You probably can hear the accent, yes, I'm not an American, I try to be. Not really, but you know, pretend. Hope the accent doesn't bother you, but that's not the point of this video. So, Ambulance is a, you can guess, an action movie, because, you know, it's directed by Michael Bay. It's not Titanic, you know, romance movie, it's more of a cops and robbers type of movie. You know, you have Jake Gyllenhaal and the guy who plays um, Black Manta in the Black Manta in the Aquaman movie, you know, the bad guy. But in this movie, he's actually portraying a good guy. First of all, the acting was okay. Jake Gyllenhaal, Jake Gyllenhaalen, Jake Gyllenhaalen, Jake Gyllenhaal plays more of a, you know, uh, animated character, more of a, you know, always stressed out, always, you know, basically he's the bad guy in the movie, but the complete opposite of his brother. I'm gonna call him Black Manta because I don't wanna mess up his name or last name by pronouncing it, so, because I'm not good with names. You have Jake Gyllenhaal's character, I think his name is Jake, no, that's the actor's name. Basically, you have him and you have his brother, Will. Basically, Jake Gyllenhaal and the Black Manta guy are basically brothers in the movie, raised together, you know, and then when they got older, they grew apart. Like a normal story that it's been told millions of times before. But the twist is, the good guy in the movie, Will, so he, you know, fought for, for his country, for, the U for America, you know, but then he comes back, a retired Marine, a veteran, he actually has financial problems, especially paying the bills for the cancer treatment for his kid, you know, for his boy or girl, I don't know, for his kid, basically. You can see in the movie that the director, Michael Bay, tries to show us, tries to make us see what a good but desperate man would do for his family, right? This is basically a story we've seen a million times before. He goes to Jake Gyllenhaal, aka his brother, and asks for a favor. But little did he know, little did he know, Jake knew, I don't know how, that he would come ask him for a favor, for some help, because during the movie you can see that one of the goons of Jake asked Jake, hey yo, is this the guy we've been waiting for? So all of that circus, it was all planned. It fit perfectly. Long story short about the movie, they rob a bank, they are being chased by the police, the LA police, okay? And you know, a bunch of shooting, a bunch of, you know, a lot of cursing, a lot of small jokes here and there, you know, just to light up the mood, so it's not so dramatic thriller, action thriller, you know? Which is a good thing, but one of the things that bothered me, one, the movie was too long for such a story, you know, two hours and 16 minutes, I think. Basically, you could probably make it half an hour and would be totally fine. The movie was too long for my taste. There were a lot of unnecessary quick cuts during the movie. You didn't get the chance to process all of the action sequences, you know? Then, of course, you have all those um, cars blowing up or cars flipping on their own. You have Jake Gyllenhaal's character just shooting the police cars and just randomly, you know, the cars flipping on their own or some shit, you know? That still didn't bother me as much as some of the details. For example, there's a guy who works for Jake, basically a bad guy who was robbing the bank with them. It's kind of a spoiler, but it's not a major spoiler, but okay. So there was like a guy in sandals, who was like the stupid of the group, and he um, tried to escape from the bank because they were being shot at or chased down by the police, you know? And he went out the wrong door. And then he was hit with the truck of his own guys, of his own group, right? And like, you can see the detail, like his abdomen was crushed and stuff, but there's this, like a quick couple of seconds difference between two scenes. I mean, the same scene, but different angles. There's one scene where he's laying on the ground, not moving, and then a couple of seconds later, he's still on the ground, different ankle in a pool of blood and screaming, okay? I mean, in every movie there are multiple takes, but they weren't so... What's the word I'm looking for? They didn't put much attention to detail, okay? This is what I'm trying to say. So, um, yeah, basically, the story is okay. It's not a one of those complicated stories, but like I said, the movie is too long for my taste. Also, there's, in many cases, there are some jokes being said that try to, you know, relieve the stress, but they're really unnecessary. I mean, the action sequences are okay, like I said. Then, of course, yeah, I mean, unlimited bullets, of course. There's like a sequence there when they try to operate on a cop in the ambulance, right, who's been, who's a shot victim. 
and they're trying to save him right and then the ambulance girl tries to you know uh, let me let me just link this my phone with the monitor and or the you know the the machine that shows your heart rate let me sync it with the computer or the screen which is kind of stupid by my taste you know but if you just want to watch a movie and shut your brain off this is the perfect movie for like a friday night saturday night with the boys you know or with friends family just to enjoy yourself right yeah another thing that really bothered me i mean bothered me was a new thing that i'm used to okay i'm Hold up, pa pause, pause. Let me rewind. There was a new, you could say, recording technique that Michael Bay used in the movie. They used a drone like a lot in this movie, okay? There were like uh, scenes where there was like a drone going up the building, then did a complete 180 and just shot down and followed a, I don't know, a got them police cars or the ambulance, right? For me, it relieved a lot of the tension. I didn't get to take certain scenes more serious, you know what I mean? For example, there was a guy bleeding out, a cop bleeding out, right? His partner all in shock, trying to help him. And then you get a drone shot, uh, doing tricks, you know, doing laps around them and stuff like that, which is, for me, was unnecessary, but okay. Different creative uh, choices. It's not one of those movies that leaves an impact, you know? It's more of a popcorn movie, okay. One of those movies, you know, where you don't have to think a lot. You shut your brain off and just lay back and relax and just watch the movie and eat some popcorn with your family, right? But yeah, basically, the movie was okay for my taste. It wasn't that good, but it wasn't that bad. I mean, it was definitely better than uh, Six Underground, the latest Michael Bay movie, you know? Which was, in my taste, terrible. It doesn't matter if it had Ryan Reynolds in it, you know? But yeah, that is my opinion about the movie. Let me know in the comments if you saw it already. Also, let me know what did you like or what you disliked about the movie, okay? And leave it in the comments below. So, thank you for watching. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and of course, or subscribe to the channel i guess we we're gonna see ourselves see ourselves thank you for watching and uh see you soon call an ambulance call an ambulance but not for me